What's up everybody, Austin here with the Evolving Tank. As usual, we're jumping right into the action. So, I got some more new fish. This week, we're introducing Empire Gudgeons to the tank, and I'm also going to show you the quarantine process I use to make sure these fish are healthy. I actually wasn't even expecting the local store to have any of these guys, so it was a nice surprise when I walked in and saw them. So let's go ahead and get them into their quarantine tank. Yes, we're quarantining this time. For those that don't know, I recently got a group of Congo Tetra for my 400 gallon aquarium, didn't quarantine, and of course I spotted ick on one of them soon after. That meant I had to treat that whole tank. I'll place a card for that video in the corner now. So this time, I'll show my whole quarantine process. I wanted a male and a female, that's what I asked the local store to catch for me, but I think they're a little hard to actually tell if they're male or female when they're young. Once they get bigger though, if we got the male like we asked for, it should be pretty obvious because they look pretty amazing, especially when they're in their mood to breed. Also, you're going to see a lot of food in there with them this video. That's because they were very shy when I first got them and would run away as soon as they saw me. So the food was a bribe to actually get them to come out. These guys are relatively peaceful and can get a little over 4 inches from what I've heard. For my quarantining process, I'm placing the fish in their own tank. This one here is 20 gallons. It has an already cycled filter on it with no chemical filtration like activated carbon, which would interfere with the medications. It also has a heater. This is all so I can make sure they're healthy before I mix them in with my other fish in the 400 gallon aquarium. I'm going to use the medication trio that many people I'm sure use, made popular by Aquarium Co-op. For this, I'm going to need three medications, those are Fritz Marison 2 for bacterial infections, Fritz Paracleans for parasitic diseases, and Icax. All three of these medications should be safe for fish, plants, and invertebrates. For the Marison and Paracleans, you add in one packet per 10 gallons of water, so in my case, that was two packets of each. And for the Icax, it's generally one teaspoon, which is 5 mLs, per 10 gallons. But since I have the Pond version of the medication, which is more concentrated, I only use one mL per 10 gallons. After all the medications were added in, the fish sat in the water for a week with no water changes. During this time, I only fed them once, lightly, about halfway through that week. This is fine because the fish can go a little while without eating. At the end of the week, I changed out about a third of the water, watched them for a few more days to make sure they still seemed healthy, and then once I was satisfied that they were healthy, it was finally time to add them into the main tank, the 400 gallon. first added them in, they were shy, understandably, and they hid for a little while. But it wasn't long before they started to explore. It also wasn't long before they ran into the other gudgeons I have in the tank, the peacock gudgeons. You can even see the similarities in how they move. These guys will get a little bigger than them though. Once they figured out they weren't in any danger, the shyness I saw previously when they were in quarantine was gone. The other fish were interested in them too, even some of the guppies came in for a closer look. As far as I can tell, they're enjoying their new space. They fit in with everyone else with no problems. 
And not long after I got these fish out of quarantine, the next fish that are going to go into the 400 gallon aquarium moved in. More on that in the future. Coming up soon, I'm also going to have to do something about the explosion of snails I've had in here for a little while now. If you want to follow along with the future of the tank, please consider subscribing and I'll see you all next time.